If you take a lot of video or if you take a lot of photographs, chances are at some point you have wanted to take a top down shot or an overhead shot. Maybe it's of your gear that you're packing up before you go photographing the mountains and you want to show it to your Instagram following. Maybe it's your YouTube video and you want to show a top down shot as you unbox your latest gear. Whatever the situation is, we all know that sometimes these overhead shots are not the easiest to film or photograph. So you're going to head to your local hardware store and you're going to pick up something that's called black pipe. Generally, it's used for gas fittings. It's threaded. It fits together really easy. It's not going to require any tools to put it together. So that makes it a lot nicer. You can also disassemble it at any time if you want to put it away in storage. So you're going to utilize half inch diameter pipe. That's what I used, especially because I'm using it for heavier DSLRs. Uh, you may want to go with something a little bit thinner if you have smaller cameras. However, that being said, you probably want to go with a more durable setup so you can add things like monitors and lights in the future and not be so worried about the weight. So what you're going to pick up is four 12 inch lengths of black pipes. Those are for the legs as well as you're going to pick up two 24 inch length black pipes. Those are going to be where the stand gets its height on either side. And then the cross beam is 36 inches in length. And then what you're going to need are two T connectors. That's going to you know, make the shape for the legs and for the riser, as well as two L bends that will support the cross beam. And of course, you're going to want to pick up four end caps. And the reason being for that is that because the connectors do raise the pipe off the ground, if you don't get the end caps, you're going to get a little bit of wobble. So to help me not scratch surfaces and make it a little bit more durable, what I actually did was Plasti dip the cap ends and the T connectors. You don't have to do that, it's not necessary, but sometimes it is nice to give it a little bit more padding, you know, just so it doesn't move or rock around at all. So once you've got your stand put together, all you have to do is attach the camera. And that's probably the most difficult part of any overhead rig. At this point here, you've got a few options, but you are going to have to utilize a clamp. You may be able to get a clamp such as this off Amazon if you have a smaller camera or a lighter camera, which will probably run you as much as $10, and in a lot of cases, much less. You'll just simply attach your camera to the end, clamp it down on the pole, and you'll be ready. If you're going to go with a bigger setup, I do recommend that you get something like this. This is a super clamp from Manfrotto. You may have one already uh, laying around in your studio, depending on what kind of photography that you do. And the reason that I recommend this is it carries a great deal of weight it will attach to the pole, and the important part here is this little spigot. If I unloosen it here, and that's how you loosen it up, and I go to pull it out, we'll notice that there's actually a release on the other side, so you have to press that in order to have the spigot release, and it's just that little added bit of safety that if it's not tightened down that your camera is not just going to fall off. And that's why I highly recommend this for this kind of setup, especially if you are using a full size, full frame DSLR. This is something that you are going to want to utilize in this setup. And then on top of that, you can attach everything from ball heads to that, or you can attach these special Z mounts, which I like a lot, which gives you a little bit more flexibility in the height of your setup, but whatever you choose to do, you are pretty much set up now to do some fantastic overhead shots utilizing this stand that costs you a quarter of the price of something that you would buy from a professional camera shop, and it does equally as good a job. So again, the beauty of this setup, it is really fast to get going. All you have to do is quickly attach your camera and you are ready to go. If you do a ton of overhead and top down videos, this is the way to go. It will make your life so much easier. 
I highly recommend it. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you have made this stand and you are utilizing it for your videos, uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, I'd love to check out what you have done and see all the accessories that you've put on. So thanks for tuning in and until next time, see ya.